Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, and this is the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. <laughs> yes, this is now the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go unto another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward into another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. Father God, we give you glory tonight, God. Give you glory today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We praise your holy name. We glorify your name, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your presence, God. In your presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, Father God, there are pleasures forevermore. Though oh God, in the name of Jesus, in your presence, God, is fullness of joy, Father God. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Saints, we are in his presence. We are in the Lord's presence. He said we're two or three are gathered together in my name. He said he will be in the midst. So there's more than two or three of us gathered together right now. So the promise is that he will be in the midst with two or three are gathered together in my name. I will be in the midst. He's a promise keeper. He promises in his word that he, he will be in the midst of us. The promises of God are yea and amen to them that believe. And we are believers today. We give God praise. We give God glory. We give God honor in the name of Jesus. We just thank God and praise God that we are in 2021. We are in the year of 2021. He promises us at the beginning of the year. That this will be a year of breaking forth, breaking out and breaking through. Breaking forth, breaking out and breaking through. He said 2021 will be a year of breaking out, breaking forth and breaking through. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we believe God. How do we know it's a year of breaking forth, breaking out and breaking through? Because we are in 2021. 21. 21 days. It's the same length of time that Daniel the prophet prayed. He prayed for 21 days. He fasted and prayed for 21 days. And on the 21st day, he got a supernatural breakthrough. So I believe by faith in Jesus name. And you can agree with me. You can join your faith with me. That since we are in the 21st of the 20s, 2021, I believe this whole year is a year of breakthrough. Just like Daniel had a breakthrough in 21 days, I believe by faith in Jesus' name that 2021 is a year of breakthrough. Yes, Daniel had 21 days for his breakthrough, but I believe that numbers are significant. Numbers are significant. 21 is the number of breakthrough. So we decree and declare that 2021 is our year of breaking through, breaking forth and breaking out. In the name of Jesus, somebody need to type that in the chat. Ch type that in the comment. It's my year. It's your year of breaking through. Breaking forth and breaking out in the name of Jesus. We're breaking out of all confinements, all bondages, all boundaries, all limitations. We're breaking out today in the name of Jesus. Yes, I believe by faith in Jesus' name. This is a year of answered prayer. My Bible tells me, according to your faith, be it done unto you. If you believe it. Do you believe God's word? I believe. I know you believe too. I'm in the midst of believers. Those that believe God. So we thank you, Lord God, in advance for the, for, for the next few, the next months ahead. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We decree and declare that it's our time of breaking through, breaking forth, and breaking out of all bondages, of all boundaries, of all limitations, of all obstacles, of all hindrances. In the name of Jesus, it's your year. This is your year. I'm telling you by the spirit of the living God, it's your year of breaking through, breaking forth and breaking out as a year of 
answered prayer. He answered Daniel's prayer 21 days. He's answered our prayers in 2021. And then those long prayers that we prayed long time ago. This is the time and season. God said, I want to answer those prayers. But in order for God to answer our prayers in this new season and new time, for we are in a new season and new time, we got to have a shift in our prayer life. To get those prayers answered, we got to shift, saints. I believe by faith in Jesus' name, there's a paradigm shift coming in our prayer life. And it's right now. We're shifting today. You are shifting today. My sister, you're shifting today. You have a, par it's a paradigm shift has come to your prayer life today. You, my brother, you, my mother, father, young child, teenager, young adult. It's your time of a paradigm shift, shifting your prayer life. What is the shift anyway? We're shifting from the asking stage to the manifestation stage. There's a sh paradigm shift, a shifting in the asking stage of prayer to the manifestation stage of prayer. We've been asking God and asking God, going to God and asking God. 95% of some, some of our prayers is 95% of asking. It is okay to ask because the Bible says, ask and it shall be given you. He said, ask and receive that your joy may be full. He said, you have not because you ask not. Yes, it's okay to ask. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. So it's okay to ask. But now in this season and time, we're shifting from asking God to calling those things that be not as though they were. We are calling those things. Things that be not as though they were. We are stepping in the stage that we're not just asking God, Father God, do this. Father God, bless me in this area. Father God, go do this. Father God, I need this. Father God, I desire this. Father God, I want this. Now we're going to step into the realm that we just, we decree a thing, a social to be done, and we're going to call those things that be not as though they were. Romans 4.17 tells us to call those things that be not as though they were. So we're leaving the asking stage and we're going over into the manifestation stage because you get manifestation when you call those things that be not as though they were. We're calling it forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God is good. Father God, you are good to us. Hallelujah. God saying today, that since you are an intercessor, you are a warrior. You are a prayer warrior. Yes, I'm talking a prayer warrior. You are a prayer warrior. You're God's battle axe. You're God's weapons of war. He uses you to fight the good fight of faith. He uses you to pull down kingdom, to destroy demonic powers, to break the back of darkness, to root out demonic strength, and bring down the powers of darkness. He uses you. You're a warrior. God says you are a bro you are you are you are a shot caller. You are a brawler and a shot caller. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are a brawler and a shot caller. You call the shots. I'm talking to people that know how to call the shots. You are a mover and a shaker. So I need to top in the comment section. I'm a brawler, a shot caller, I'm a mover and a shaker. Yes, you are a brawler. In the spirit, you are a brawler, a shot caller, and a mover and a shaker. You are a shot caller. You call the shots. You call those things that be not as though they were. You are a shot caller. You call the shots. You don't call it like you see it. You call it like God sees it. We don't call it like we see it in the natural. We call it like we see it in the spirit. We know how to bring down heaven on earth as it is. We bring down heaven to earth. We bring down God's word. Hallelujah. We bring down God's word in the name of Jesus. We bring down God. We bring what's in heaven down on earth. So we're going to raise our hands today. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we are a brawler, a shot caller. We call the shots. We know how to call those things that be not as though they were in the mighty name of Jesus. We leave in the asking stage of prayer. And now we're going over into the manifestation of prayer. We leave in the asking stage where we keep on asking and asking a never ending cycle of asking. God said you got to break through out of the never ending cycle of asking.
We are breaking through out of the never ending cycle of asking. We are breaking through, breaking forth and breaking out of the never ending ever ending cycle of asking we stepping over into the realm of manifestation because we are beginning in our prayers in the mighty name of jesus we call in those things that be not as though they were on earth as it is in heaven we we, we move it over into the finished state the future we step it over into our future when it's already done in the name of jesus god we give him praise we give god glory we give god honor in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a few things that God put in my heart to pray today. I wrote, wrote the things down so I'll keep on target. This is the way you call those things that be not as though they were. You're going to find that in, as I begin to pray, led by the Holy Spirit, we're not asking. It's okay to ask. We already got that established. It's okay to ask God. But at one point, when are you going to quit asking and just receive it? When are we going to stop asking God and just receive what he's already done? In the name of Jesus. Like we decree and declare right now. Overflow. We're not looking at our bank account. We're not looking at our, pilot, uh, our pocket. We're not looking at our wallet. We're not looking at our checkers account. We're not looking at our savings account. We're not looking in the storehouses. We're not looking in the bank. We're not looking at that. We decree and declare overflow in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you right now that we are walking into our season of overflow in the name of Jesus. It's a season and time, God. In Jesus' name, you said you was going to move us into the promised land, a land that floweth with milk and honey. Today, God is saying to us that he's taking us into a land that flows with milk and honey, the promised land. You are now entering into your promised land. God wants you to know that today that you are moving into your promised land, the land of milk and honey. You need milk. It's nourishment. Milk is nourishment. You need milk. You give baby milk. You give a little baby milk because that's how the baby is nourished and it can grow. So you need milk. But honey, you don't need honey. You don't need honey. He said, but he said he promised us, I'm taking you to the land of milk and honey. Milk means your, your needs being met. Honey means your desires being met. So we give God praise that he's not only taking us to the land of milk, but he's taking us to the land of milk and honey. Hallelujah. You don't need no honey, but you guys, I'm going to give it to you. He want to be sweet to you in the mighty name of Jesus. He want to be able to give you the desires of your heart. God is saying to us today that as we line up our desires with him, line up our desires with the word of God, as long as your desires are lined up with the word of God, he will give you the desires of your heart. Things that you don't really need, but you just want it. I just desire it, God. I just desire that God. I just desire that God. He, he's going to give you the desires of your heart because you're lining up. You're lining up your will with his will. <coughs> Excuse me. You're lining up your will with his will. His will is already established in heaven. But now we're getting our will, our ways, and our desires lined up with the word of God. And as long as your desires are lined up with the word of God, God promised us that he will give you, you, uh -huh, you, the desires of your heart. He withhold no good thing to those who walk uprightly. The Lord maketh rich and have no sorrow to those that line up themselves with the word of God. So we're not asking God for things that don't line up with his will. Our desires are lining up with his will. It's called divine alignment. There's a divine alignment going on in the prayer life of the warrior. There's a divine alignment going out in the prayer life of the intercessor. There's a divine alignment being aligned with the prophetic intercessor. He is divine alignment. Our desires are now in this time and season is lining up with the word of God. If your desires do not line up with the word of God, <coughs> excuse me. 
if your desires are not lining with the word of God, he can't give you desires of your heart. So you're exempt. If you are desiring somebody else's husband, that's not the will of God. So your desires can't get met. If you desire to take somebody else's job, it's going to take it. They don't line up with the will of God. So that desire, it's a fleshly carnal desire. Fleshly carnal desires do not meet the criteria. But as long as your desires is lined up with the word of God, he will give you the desires of your heart. Thank you, Lord God. He's taking us to the land of milk and honey. Thank you, Lord God. You've been supplying all of our need according to your riches and glory. You've been opening up the windows of heaven. Pouring us our blessings that we have not room enough to receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for supplying all our need according to your riches and glory. That's the milk. But now we're moving into a season of time where those desires are being met. He's a good God. Take us to the land of milk and honey. Needs and desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it's a blessed thing to finally get some desires met. Because there's a divine alignment going on. Divine alignment. Divine alignment. On earth as it is in heaven. I desire what you want, God. I desire your will, God. I desire your plan, God. I desire your dream, God. I desire your vision, God. I desire what you want. As long as I'm hooking up with you, I'm in agreement with you. I'm a spiritual collaborator with God. I can get needs met and desires. Now you've always learned and been taught about getting your uh, desires and your needs met. You've been always been taught about getting our, our needs met. We've always been taught about getting our needs met. But people don't talk about getting those desires met because this is the season and time God's releasing it. I believe that this is the time. I believe by faith you're going to hear more people teach on getting desires met. They're going to teach you, line up your will with God. Get in that Bible and pray the word. Call those things that be not according to his word and it will be established. Decree a thing and so shall it be established unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we decree it. We decree overflow. There's an overflow coming. God, we thank you for the overflow of supernatural blessings. As you open up the windows of heaven, pouring us out blessings that we have not room enough to receive. And you are rebuking the divine for our sakes in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe by faith there's going to be money coming down, falling, falling like leaves to the ground. Money coming down, falling like leaves to the ground. We decree and declare money coming down, falling like leaves to the ground. Money coming down, falling like leaves to the ground. It's our time that the wealth of the sinner be laid up for the just. The wealth of the sinner is not only laid up for the just, but it's been released. It's not just laid up, it's been released. Uh, in the name of, it's been a divine transfer of wealth. We believe it. We believe it because we're going to fund the kingdom. We're going to be a blessing. We're going to go and do what God called us to do. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to go and do what God called us to do. We're going to be a blessing to those that are in need. We're going to give from the bottom of our heart and give with generosity to, to, to the needs of the saints, to the needs of those that are in the world, to the need, the needs that, that's all around us. And we will be blessed too. I believe there is money coming down like leaves falling to the ground. Money coming down like leaves falling to the ground. It's harvest time. It's time to go out now. It's time for you to go outside and get your bag. Get your rake. Start raking them leaves. You like go outside and rake the leaves and put it in the big bag. I think it's money coming down like leaves falling to the ground. It's time to rake it in. We raking it in, God. It's time. We done lived through the land of not enough. We done been in the land of life, not enough. We done been in the land of just enough for too long. We done been in the land of not enough. We done been in the land of just enough. Now it's time to move into the land of more than enough. In the name of Jesus, to the land of milk and honey. Needs being met, desires being met. In Jesus' name, dreams coming true, the vision of the Lord coming true, our destiny being fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we call those things that be not as though they were. 
We're not looking at our bank account. We're not looking at our checkers account. We're not looking at our wallets and our purses. We're not looking at nothing in the natural. We are shot callers. We are brawlers and shot callers. We call them those things that be not as though they were. There's a clarion call to call all the shot callers out. You are a shot caller. He's calling you to begin to open your mouth and leave the stage of asking God, begging God, and asking and asking and asking. Step over to the land of manifestation where you call those things that be not as though they were. You call it in the name of Jesus. Let me read to you in the Amplified Version of Romans 4.17 because we, we've been quoting that all through, the, all through the broadcast how to call those things that be not as though they were but the Amplified version of Romans 4.17 reads God who gives life to the dead and speaks of the non-existent things that he has foretold and promised as if they already existed let me read that again God who gives life to the dead and speaks of the non-existent things. God speaks of the non-existent things as if they already existed. God speaks of the non-existent things as if they already existed. That's what he did in Genesis. We're not making up nothing new. This happened in Genesis. God was calling those things that be not as though they were from the beginning of creation. He stepped out on nothing and created everything. He stepped out on darkness and created light. He said, "Let there be light," and there was light. He didn't go for. He didn't go on and on. Oh, it ain't. It's so dark out here. I can't see. My people can't see when I create them. I I don't know what's going on. I can't see nothing. He didn't go on and on. He just said, "Let there be light," and there was light. The light shined to the darkness, and the darkness couldn't even comprehend it. God in the beginning of creation he called those things as, as though they were he did it already we are imitators of God we are God we are we just gonna mimic God that's what Abraham did in Romans 4 17 God told Abraham that he was gonna be a father of many nations and when God told Abraham that he was gonna be a father of many nations Abraham was 100 years years old he was impotent his body was dead his re reproductive agency so to speak was dead and and sarah's womb was dried up and fertile she was in she, she was infertile she, she she her womb was barren she couldn't even bear children but father abraham the father of faith he didn't look at his own body now dead he didn't look at the deadness of sarah's womb he called those things that, that beat on as though they were he said i'm gonna be the father of many nations he was he just spoke like father god Father Abraham started to begin to speak and talk like Father God. Father God called those things that be not as though they were. Father Abraham, the father of faith, he called those things that things that be not as though they were. And at one point in time, he they birthed a baby named Isaac. And after that, he birthed multitudes and multitudes and multitudes of, of, of sons and daughters, all in the all in the realm of faith. And we are sons and daughters of Abraham too, because we are children of faith. We are we are birthed out from father faith, the father of all faith. In the name of Jesus, we call those things that be not as though they were. God, we thank you. God, we thank you, Jesus. Let's see what else God has us to pray today. Oh, God, thank you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Mm, what is God saying to us today? He wants to call those things that be not as though they were. Get out the asking stage. Don't let 95% of your prayer be a, a long laundry list of you asking. You got to get to a point that you just receive the answer and pray the answer. Call those things that be not as though they were. If you do that in 2021, for the rest of 2021, I guarantee you, you will see answers to prayer because you're not asking no more. Believing in it to happen, you're already in the realm of it already happened. It's already done. you be like Jesus says, it is finished. You will be called those things that be not as though they were. You will speak of non-existent things as if they already exist. You'll speak of non-existent things as if they already existed. And when you do that, you will see the fruit of your mouth. In the name of, you will see it with your eyes. 
in Jesus name. We calling those things that be not as though they were Romans 4, 17. We're not looking at ourselves. We're not looking at what we got or don't have or what we what should have, could have, would have been doing none of that. We're looking unto the hills which come with our help. We're looking unto the word of God. Whatever the word of God says for us, so be it. Whatever the word says, amen. It's a, it's a yay and amen. We're going to call those things that be not as though they were in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We have decreed and declared. We have called in, hallelujah, the, the, the needs and desires of your people being met. Today we did. And we're going to look for it, God. Because those of us whose desires are lined up with the word, we can, we can reap the promise that says, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he gives you the desires of your heart. You would, he would hold no good thing to those who walk up rightly. To those who have already said in their heart, not my will, but your will. Not my way, but your way. Not my thoughts, but your thoughts. All of you and none of me. I got to decrease that you can increase. Those people I'm speaking to only. Those people can get their desires met as well as their needs. Hallelujah. We give God praise today. And we give God honor. I guess the last prayer would be an altar call. We already made an altar call. We all made an altar call, a clearing call to all intercessors, prophetic intercessors and intercessors and prayer warriors to, 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 to stand up and be a brawler, a shot caller and call, call the shots, call those things that be not as though they were. That was one altar call. I was calling you back into the realm of being a shot caller. <laughs> I'm a shot caller. I'm a shot caller. You a shot caller. But now there's another prayer. I want to pray. Excuse me. Another prayer I'm praying now is an altar call for those that don't know Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I want to lead you in a simple prayer. Come on, let's pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I come to you. I come to the altar. I come to the altar, God. You said that you said in your word that if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. With my mouth, I just confessed it. And with my heart, I believe it. Yes. If you pray that simple prayer, if you believe that God raised his dad for you and raised him from the dead. And he now sits on the right hand side of the Father. If you believe that, and if you confess that word, that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you did that today, you are a child of God. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are a born again believer. So I need you to do a couple of things. I need you to start praying. Start talking to God. Get a good Bible. Begin to read it. And ask God to lead you to a good church home. Lead you to a good church that's teaching the unadulterated word of God. That you may grow with other believers. I believe if you do that, if you're praying, read, reading your word, and, and join up with other believers, you will live a strong, powerful Christian life. And you will make an impact in your generation. And remember this Today's broadcast. Remember the word of the Lord to, for us and the rest of these months into 2021. The 2021 is, is a year of answered prayer because we're stepping from the asking stage over into the manifestation stage because, because we've begun to call those things that be not as though they were. You do that as a born again believer and you do that as a seasoned Christian. All of us, we all shot callers. We call the shots. Call the shots. <laughs> I'm calling the shots. Calling them shots. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. I'll see you next time. <laughs> On the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time. On the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with heaven. Remember me. I'm your sister in Christ. Michelle Rice. And I love you. And most of all. Our God loves you. See you next time. Bye bye.